Hi and welcome to the video. Today in this video I am going to attempt to create a YouTube thumbnail in Photoshop in under five minutes. Some of the design principles that feature in this video can be applied to other platforms and programs such as InDesign, Canva, Illustrator or anything that you might be using to create YouTube thumbnails. Okay so without further ado let's add that timer to the video and let's get into it guys. So what you want to do first is open Photoshop, once you've got it open, we need to create a document which is 1280 by 720 I'm going to stick to the resolution of 144, because that's decent enough for the screen, and we're going to press create. First of all, let's bring in an image. So I've opened the image that I want to use in this tutorial, so I'm just going to copy and paste this into my document. What I would like to do is get rid of this thing on the right hand side, and to do this, I'm just going to sample the background by using the eyedropper. So Press I for the eyedropper and just select a background colour. I'm going to go to the background on my layer panel. If you don't know where that is, it's window and then layer. Okay, I'm going to, I've selected that layer there. I'm going to do edit fill. So edit fill or shift F5. And I've got it as foreground colour. Now that's selected that in the background there. I'm just going to get rid of this now. And to do that, I'm going to do a new layer, put that over the top, and use the brush tool. So we've got a brush, it's quite a large brush and it's in the same uh, sample colour that we did earlier. I'm just going to put it up to 100% and it's quite a soft brush so the edges are quite soft, about 500. And I'm just going to colour this edge in here and as you can see that sort of got rid of that silly bit on the side. I'm also going to fill this little bit in here. A little trick is to put the opacity down and just sort of click a few times to get it to sort of blend into the background. So there we have a, sort of a nice area on the left hand side now that we can work and add text to which is in this layer here. Next thing we need to do is add the text. So change the colour of the foreground to black so we can see the text when we click on the text and press on the screen. Um, so I'm going to do a how to video. So this is going to be a how to design. That's going to be my first line. Put that to the top. How to design R, ah, that's better. Copy this, I'm going to copy it by clicking on the text layer, clicking Alt and holding that down. You see how the cursor changes to two triangles, I'm going to drag that down. I'm going to just change this text now to how to design a YouTube thumbnail. YouTube and then below, thumbnail. Now we need to separate them out a bit to do that. Click on this uh, lead in here. We're going to space it out a bit and we're going to make this loads bigger. So maybe around 60, that looks okay. And also the leading is looking okay as well there. So we're just doing it rough to begin with. And we're going to copy this top bit as well down like we did before. So I'm just pressing Alt there as well. Just going to type in in under five minutes. Five minutes is fine. So now we've got that, I would like it to pop off the background. I'm going to add some sort of rectangles in the background. So I'm just going to bring that down slightly and let's make these rectangles. So there's a tool here which is a rectangle tool. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to drag, bring that in. And I'm going to just put this behind YouTube thumbnail as a layer. So I'm going to put that behind and I'm going to change the colour of the text. So to do that. I need to select there and I know my text needs to be maybe white or yellow. I'm going to adjust this black rectangle to be a bit more appealing. So I'm going to click on the rectangle, Command T, go to the edge of it. I'm going to press Shift and that's going to allow me to free transform this thing in a little bit. So once I'm happy with it, I'm going to click on this uh, cursor up here. Do the same. I'm going to copy it by using Alt and Drag. Alt drag, Command T again, bring, make this a bit bigger, holding Shift, it's a bit more free transform. I'm just going to bring these two sentences in, or two parts of the text in, uh, in under five minutes needs to be brought up slightly, might even make them bigger, uh, so they're now at 23, let's put it up to 30, I'm going to put this other one up to 30 as well, good rule of thumb, if you're doing typography work, your main title, make it double what your um, supporting text is. It's a really simple rule, if you follow it, it just makes your text work. There you go, a bit of a typography uh, 
tip there for you. Just a quick reminder guys, if you're getting something out of this video, remember to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications if you want to be alert for every time I upload a video. There goes the timer. Can you believe it? I didn't make five minutes. Oh, so difficult. Anyway, back to the video. So now I've got all this and it's kind of popping. I'm going to grab all these layers uh, together because I want to make sure they're all centered. So I'm going to grab all them in my layer panel by just clicking on the first one at the bottom and holding shift and clicking the top one. I'm going to select all, command A. You see at the top we've got these align tools, align horizontal centers. So that's now going into the middle of the page. I'm okay with that. Um, command D to deselect. So that's now gone and drag it back over. So the entire text now is all aligned center. That's how I want it. I'm just going to create some kind of background pop. To do this, I'm using this lasso tool, a polygon lasso tool. Create a new layer, this plus tool in layers. I'm just going to bottom corner click. Just go above my head as a little triangle. Let's make like a triangle shape. That's now selected. I'm going to go edit fill again. Edit fill. And the triangle is going to be yellow, so colour. And FFD 100 is my brand colour. So I'll click OK and OK again. Now you can only see a part of it because the layers are in the wrong order. But once I move that layer up, so it's kind of popping a little bit. I'm not fully happy with it. Uh, I think I might need to make all the text bigger. So I'm going to grab all the text layers and, and do um, Command T. Which will I get this uh, side one. I'm just going to drag that. I think my face could be further over because there's plenty of space on this right side. Let's drag that over. May need to delete part of this because now I've got this sort of halo above my head. So I'm going to use the eraser tool to get rid of that. It's like a brush tool. And there we go. Because it's in Photoshop, this tutorial, I'm going to add a Photoshop symbol so people can identify with this tutorial as a Photoshop tutorial because I've not put it in the text anywhere. So I've just dragged and dropped that onto my working file. I'm just going to make it smaller. Put it down on the right hand side. Try not to cover up too much of my face, but it be enough so people recognize that it's a Photoshop tutorial. Could even make my face bigger by clicking on the face. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. Now you can see the boundary box. Um, and bring that down to the right hand size there. So I'm in the frame, so you can see what's doing the tutorial. So there we have it. So to export this, we're going to do File, Save for Web, which is File, Export, Save for Web, Legacy, Export it as 100% JPEG. As you can see from the bottom here, that it's less than the 2 megabytes that YouTube has a limit on. Press Save and save that to your computer. So there you have it, how to create a thumbnail in under 5 minutes in Photoshop. If you got something out of this video, remember to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this. There is a playlist up in the card right now. If you want to check that out, there's some helpful YouTube tutorials and design tutorials that I've been creating and I'm going to be adding to over time. So go check that out as well. So that's it from this video, guys. I will see you in another video. Take care. So there you have it, how to create a YouTube thumbnail. So that's how to record a thumbnail in under five minutes. I can record a thumbnail in five minutes. That's not what I want to say. Come on, Paul. You've got this. And check out the card above because I'm going to I'm gonna check out the card above if you want to see more tutorials of on creating. So there you have it, how to create a YouTube thumbnail in Photoshop in under five minutes. Well, I hope I did the five minutes. I won't know until I get into the edit, which will all happen by now. That's pretty meta, isn't it? I don't think I can include that in the video.